Hello friends, Coach Bob with you, and today we are going to be talking about some BRP stuff. The Can-Am RT models specifically. We'll talk about some changes that have been going on over the last couple of years for folks that are pre previous buyers who may want to buy some new accessories for their 2020s, and for some of us guys that are riding the Can-Am Spiders that are a little longer in the tooth, the 19s and below with the older body style, and some things that might be available to us or might not be, and also the fact that Can-Am is changing. They're growing, and uh, we're starting to see some things that won't be available for us 2019 earlier folks, but we'll talk about that right after this. All right, so the Can-Am Spider RT. Now, before we get going, I want to let you know that I will be talking about the F3 and the Riker. My personal area of expertise as far as what I ride each day, I ride an RT. You know that. So, understanding that, um, I'm going to have a greater depth of knowledge for the RT than, uh, than I will for the F3 or the Riker. Anything that I might leave out, I am not one of those guys who wears my proverbial heart on my sleeve. So, if you see something that you think I might have missed or just glazed over, might have left you in want for more, please let me know. For the short term, Wednesday videos are going to be more informational about the spider, about uh, the direction that BRP is going, about accessories, gear, that sort of stuff. Those are going to be our Wednesday videos. Saturdays will be trips and motorcycle rides and Can-Am spider rides and that sort of thing. So that's the plan for the short term. In fact, speaking of rides, that's a ride I went on here recently with a uh, gentleman uh, that is an amazing motorcycle rider uh, here in Tallahassee. He's a real racer, and uh, I felt like Mr. Magoo <laughs> when I was following him. He just pulls away, and I, there's nothing I can do about it. But let's talk about the BRP. If it looks like I have pages of notes, it's because I literally have pages of notes. So let's talk about the RT versus the RT Limited and the fact that Can-Am has a new model out for 2021 called the Sea to Sky. So we're gonna talk about all three of those things and we're gonna talk about the accessories available. So first let's talk about the RT, the base model. Now in 2019 and earlier, the RT, because that, that rear bag you may hear me refer to this as the rear saddle bag or as Can-Am calls it, the top case. For 2019s and earlier, if you're looking at the RT, the base model, not the RT Limited, what you don't lose on the 2019, which I think is actually quite critical for long distance touring, is that top case. There's a lot of storage in that top case and when Coach Vic and I traveled across the country, we filled it to the brim. The 2020 and the 2021 models, if you buy the RT base, it does not come with that top case. It comes with a little piece that covers where that top case would mount. And if you want to buy that top case for those models, it's gonna cost you $1,999. Right now, the RT MSRP is at 23.3, basically, 23.299, we'll call it 23.3. So you're looking at 2,000 for the case, 25K is what you're looking at. The limited at this point is still 27.3. So you're still 2,300 under what you would pay for the limited and still have all of the storage capacity. You do lose other things. For touring ability, if you have that top case, you're set, you can tour. The Spider RT base is fine for touring. I know I have a 2019 base. It, it was absolutely exceptional as we crossed the country. We did 5,000 miles in 11 riding days, and it was absolutely more than adequate. So what is the RT gonna give you? Well, it's gonna give you the basic stuff. You're gonna have the same engine, so you have the same powertrain, you have the same wheelbase, you have the same body shape and structure. All of that is exactly the same on, on the RT versus the RT Limited. By the way, RT stands for Roadster Tour. So this is the touring machine made by Can-Am Spiders for those who may be new to the spider world. As I said earlier, if you purchase the RT base, it does not come with that back bag or top bag, whatever you want to call it, which means that it doesn't have a backrest for your passenger. So that's pretty important. 
The RT only comes in two colors, the blue and the white. They call it chalk and petrol metallic, um, but it's, it's white and blue. The engine on all of the RTs, whether it's the base model, the Limited, or the Sea to Sky, which is the new 2021, which we'll be talking about, all of them have the same engine, 115 horsepower Rotax 1330, same engine that's been in the Spider for a long time. I can't see that with the weight and everything that you're looking at on the Spiders, that for the touring models specifically, that you're going to feel a big performance uh, difference between one year to the other until you get back to the pre-1330 days. All of the RTs have the semi-automatic transmission, which means you upshift with the thumb shift. You can manually downshift with it, or when you decelerate, it will downshift on its own. They all come with the same transmission. Uh, they have vehicle stability system uh, on them. They all have eco mode for saving in gas mileage. One thing that was different between the base model in 2020 and 21 for the preceding 19, if you bought a 2019 earlier base model, it did not have running boards, the floorboards. Um, it came with foot pegs like a motorcycle. The 2020 and later for all RT models come with the floorboards. I think that's a pretty big upgrade. I know that uh, changing those things out on the earlier models is a real issue, and it's a very expensive issue if you want to go to running boards. 2020 and above, you don't have to worry about it. All of the RTs, the older ones and the newer ones, all have the electronic windshield. I know that the newer Limiteds, they have memory on the windshields and that sort of thing. The older RTs did not have that. I put it where it goes and it stays there, and I'm gonna raise it and lower it based on the weather. The base RT has heated hand grips for the driver, does not have a heated seat, does not have heated passenger grips. It only has 31 gallon storage capacity, which is because that top case is not there. If you add the top case, it's gonna have the same storage capacity that the Limited is going to have. One of the things, and this is a direction that I like that Can-Am is going, is called the link compatibility. They have a new rack that you can mount on the back of the RTs and that link compatibility allows you a lot of options. And we'll talk about that when we get more into options, but it is very nice. And it's something that if for the 2019 earlier, that's just not even a variable in the equation because the top box is there to stay. You can't take it off to add a rack that, make, that gives you more flexibility in, in how you carry things and that sort of thing. The base model uh, obviously uh, has the BRP app in it has the LCD display as the 18 and 19 do. When you get down below 2018, you're dealing with more of an analog display. And the, uh, the new ones all have LED headlights. So the RT MSRP is at $23,299. You can add a few things to it. You can add that $2,000 case and you are tour ready. So for MSRP of $25,298 is where you would be, um, you would be tour ready. So let's talk about the RT Limited. Now the Limited, it's the same three-wheeled machine. It just has fancier features on it. So for those who want to just tour, who though these things don't mean anything to, look at the base model. You could probably get a knockout deal because the base models don't sell as much. And then you can order that, that bag, that rear case, and put that on yourself. There's nothing to it. It's literally minutes. Okay, so the RT Limited, MSRP $27,299. By the way, the MSRP has not changed from, two, from the 20 model to the 21 model. It is now available in four colors. The, uh, the blue, which is the, uh, what I call it, petrol metallic, has a red, which is the deep marsala metallic comes in stone gray, which obviously is gray, and chalk, which is white. One of the things that the RT Limited has on it that I think would be a very nice feature is it has the self-leveling suspension, which is great for when you're traveling and the weight on the motorcycle is changing and you're not quite sure where you're gonna be one day to the next, it does self-adjust and that's a great feature to have. The RT Base, you can change the pressure that's in it by manually putting air in that suspension. However, it does not self-adjust. You set it up, you have to keep an eye on it. That's just how that is. But it's not a deal breaker for me and it has never presented a problem for me. Of course, it comes with the rear bag or the top case or the top bag, whatever you want to call it. And it comes with the integrated passenger backrest on it, which is really, really nice. The RT Limited does come with the heated seats. 
It comes with the heated passenger grips as well as the heated driver grips, which obviously the RT base has. One other thing to note, all RTs will have cruise control. Of course, the Limited has 47 gallons of storage again because of that back bag. It is Link compatible. It does not come with the Link accessory package, but it is compatible just like the RT base. 20 and later. 19 and before is not Link compatible. It has signature LED lights, so a few more little nice lights on there, which is cool. And uh, I will say that BRP does add some cool lights to the Limited, which really kind of float my boat more than the other things. It has a six speaker sound system as opposed to a four speaker sound system, which is found on the base model. It has an LED front cargo light and a liner inside that cargo compartment, as we lovingly know as the front, the front trunk. Uh, it has a nice liner in there with a light, which I think is really a great feature. For those of us who have toured and we're getting up early in the morning or getting in late at night, having that LED light is a big deal. So if you buy the base model, you can anticipate just buying some LED lights for the inside. Not a real difficult thing to do in today's world. So that's pretty much the difference between the RT and the RT Limited. Is it worth $4,000? I will tell you this, if the features on the Limited, if you want those features, it will cost you more than $4,000 to upgrade the parts to make it a Limited. So if you like those features, then you need to buy a Limited. You're gonna be out, you're gonna save money in the long run. So now let's talk about the new model. So the new model, MSRP, okay, hang on, hang on. <laughs> $29,799, so $30,000 for the new machine, the, for, the, for the special edition machine. It's called Sea to Sky, as in the Ocean Sea, S-E-A, and it's named after a highway. The Sea to Sky Highway, or Highway 99 as it's known, runs from the coast of Vancouver to the peak of Whistler. Now, Whistler is a ski resort mountainous area in British Columbia. It's basically from the coast up into the mountains, sea to sky, makes sense, uh, is tree lined with a lot of evergreen trees in certain areas. I'm gonna post some pictures as I talk of the Sea to Coast Highway so you can at least get an idea of what was the catalyst behind the name so you understand where it comes from. And also if you buy one, I think it would be great for you to be able to explain to other people about it. So I'll post some pictures of the Sea to Coast Highway during this conversation here. But the evergreen trees that are on this highway is what inspired the color of the Sea to Sky model. It comes in one color, Highland Green. Now the Highland Green, if you'll notice on all other RTs, the back case is multicolored. This is the only RT that has a color matched back bag, the top bag. They have a six spoke wheel. It's a forged wheel and it's finished in a satin titanium color. They do look really nice. They have what they call the ultra comfortable seat on the Sea to Sky, which has what they're calling an adaptive foam. I have a feeling that BRP in the future will make a seat like this without the Sea to Sky logo embroidered on it. I think this is going to be an upgradable seat that they're going to probably be selling in the future. They've not said they're going to, but I would venture to say that this is a step more into the premium seat market for them. The badging on the Spider obviously is a little different. It's titanium colored. It looks really sharp. Has a logo of 99 on there for Highway 99, which is also the Sea to Sky Highway. Another nicety that this thing has is it has Sea to Sky badged semi-rigid cases that go inside the saddlebags on the side, the top bag, and the front bag. And those things look really nice. They're only available for this particular model. They say they're not going to be selling these things in the future for anything other than the Sea to Sky. I don't know, maybe they will. Um, I think it would be a nice thing for Can-Am to do. I think there are a lot of us, myself included, if they would make a semi-rigid for the 2019 earlier models, I, I would certainly purchase them. I think that that's a nice thing to be able to carry things in and pack them and have them fit like a puzzle piece inside that saddlebag so you could compress them down and then put them in there. I think that would be nice. I don't know that they'll ever do that. There's a suggestion for you, BRP. Another thing that comes with the Sea to Sky is they have, when you take the back, that back top bag off, they have the color matched cover for that. 
So you can ride and make it look a little more sporty if you want to do that. When you do that and you pull that plastic cover piece off, that's where you mount your link system. So let's talk a little bit about the new BRP accessories because they got some pretty cool ones coming out. All right, so one of the accessories that's coming out that is a very small thing, but could be very helpful for those who ride in colder climates. I'm not one of those, I'm a Florida boy, so I understand with me it's a little bit different. But they have an adjustable side deflector. I'll post some links for these things down below uh, for each of these accessories that I'm talking to. You can just click that link, look at them if you are interested for the RT people that are maybe looking to upgrade things. The adjustable side wind deflector basically sits lower on the body cowling and it folds in and out. It's just a manual piece of plastic, it looks like, that you can just manually move in and out. Aftermarket wind deflector accessories that we've seen on the market that do this. This is really nothing new but it is new for Can-Am BRP to do this. Um, and the way they adjust, like I said, they just fold in, that allows total airflow, or they fold out to give you less airflow uh, to your legs, to your knees, when, you, when those kneecaps get a little cold in the wintertime. And those of you who ride in the wintertime like I do, you understand what I'm talking about. For the 2019 and earlier models, they're $154.99. For the 20 and later models, they're $194.99. So 200 bucks if you want those wind deflectors on the new models. Another feature that they have not shown on the webpage yet, I'm anxious to see what they're gonna be charging for these, is an integrated LED floorboard light. Now I think this light this light is not going to be a stick on tape thing. It's going to be something that they integrate into the floorboard. It puts out 1600 lumens of a bright white LED light um, and it runs right along the uh, edge of the floorboard of the RTs. I don't believe this is going to be available for the 19 and earlier. It would be nice to see. I guess only time will tell. But we do know that the floorboards on the, on the 20s and later are much larger. We know they're going to be made for those. Don't have a price on those. Keep a watch out here on Coach Bob 3. As soon as I hear something, you'll hear something. And if you see anything on the BRP webpage, it'll be there eventually. Uh, I'm going to be calling BRP in the next week or so and see if I can't get some ideas as to what some of these things may cost. Now, the link rack accessory. This is for the 20 and later models. That rack is $299, so $300. That rack basically bolts on in minutes. It allows you to hook up suitcases, top racks. They have all kinds of really cool things. This is one of the things that I really believe that BRP is getting very right. Um, they are looking at a lot of the, it is quite possible they have drawn inspiration from the removable racks and accessories that Harley does and that BMW does, and it's really, really cool to have that flexibility. They are even making a suitcase that has a waterproof cover on there that will mount right to the top of that link rack. So if you're just going on a weekend trip and you're not packing to fill your, your bags all up, you could take that link suitcase and you could put it on there, cover it for inclement weather, ride when you get there, take the suitcase off and walk inside. I think that's really cool, very well thought out. They have another big box. Looks almost like a plastic toolbox um, that you can mount on there. All of those things, I will post a link to their accessory page. They're all on this one accessory page. You can look at them, see what you might be interested in. They have another thing called the Link Tool Holder. This thing's pretty cool. It shows them holding you know, fishing poles and different little things. Uh, I think that's going to be pretty cool as well. Another great new accessory that I think is going to be wonderful for BRP is an adjustable handlebar riser for the 20 and 21 models. I don't believe they're going to be making it for the 19 and earlier. It is quite possible they will create something for those models, for those of us with the older models. However, for the 2021, I know it will be available. The question is, what is it going to cost? It's not yet up on their webpage. It's very nice. You can go up and down with it. It doesn't really look like there's a lot of fore to aft engagement in it. I couldn't really tell from what I saw. Um, however, ergonomically, it's gonna be able to bring that handlebar up to someone who's not quite as tall. You know, like if Coach Vic and I had a newer machine, she's 5'2", I'm 6'3". It makes it a little nicer for each of us to be able to set it up for the way we would like it. So there you have it, the 2021 RT Base, RT Limited, and the special edition Sea to Sky. There they are. I'm gonna ask you a question I, wa I want you to post down below. What do you think of these special editions and do you think that they're really necessary? I would like to see, honestly, I would like to see a lot of these accessories for the special edition model available for all models. 
So there you have it, the 21 lineup for the RTs. I hope you found it informative. Be sure and check out the links uh, at the BRP webpage. There's always interesting stuff uh, being put on there. I am reading, reading, learning, growing, pages and pages of notes. I'm trying to keep up. I would like for you to be able to come to one place and get all of your information, and that place is right here. There are some rumors out there about BRP creating some electric three-wheelers and some different things that might open some new doors. So that's it for this Wednesday's episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure, like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. I greatly appreciate it. And remember, until next time, you go out, buy the motorcycle of your dreams, eat right, take care of yourself. And remember, if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. Now, go seize the day.